Okay, let's do a little, gosh, what month is this? September. Let's do a September update here. Okay, here's where we're at so far. My father has been working on the trim. As you see here, check that out. No gaps anywhere. That man does a wonderful job with trim. Laundry room is done. Someone's gonna really appreciate the laundry on the upper level. Kitchen still the same. Still working on it. Uh, let's see here. Here is the half bath, complete with closet. Okay. And a pocket door. Because in Oak Ridge, space is at a premium and you need every bit you can get. Same thing with this room, which I still need to find some hardware for, but I want to find something better than what I can find at the depot. So here's the office slash small bedroom, nursery, whatever you want to call it, with closet. Got our transitions down. And of course, the living room is pretty much done. Just a little bit more trim. We're still working on the bedroom doors here and for this closet here we see we got the closet with the light and chase to the tv mount above the fireplace we have got the vanity in it's not mounted in place yet um, we're still trying to figure out how exactly we want to fill this gap because the wall is not square but as you see It'll be a nice vanity, uh, especially because before we had a pedestal sink here. Because having a door, you know, you had to have room for it to swing open. And so now we have a pocket door here, uh, which will give this bathroom the space it deserves, as well as the closet and tub. Still need to replace that window, but I think I found one finally. Master bedroom is still exactly the same. Nothing, nothing really to report other than trim, working on trim. So let's take you downstairs and show you what we have going down there. Um, I am currently working on lighting. I still need to finish these stairs. We got some, we got some stucco on this wall. So that'll be nice. That wall is brick and there's not enough room to frame it out. So let's see here. Here's the hallway. Difficult to see. We had some really strange ceiling transitions because of the ductwork, but I had to make do with what we had. It's a basement, so you're always going to have something. So here is the beautiful downstairs bedroom with fireplace, built-in nook, and then these windows uh, that my dad are a little extra deep. We had to use two by six walls, so. You wind up with a pretty deep windowsill, but that's going to be really awesome. And these windows are uh, actually slightly bigger than what used to be there. So I think that's a, a huge improvement. Ignore my electric panel, guys. I'm not, not even close to having that neatened up and done yet. A lot of that is temp that you see coming out, so don't, don't give me a hard time about that. This is the walk-in closet. I still have some drywall left, but I think he's waiting for me to get done with that electrical and then we'll get this room drywalled up. Same thing with the bathroom. This is really the last major project we have down here. But as you can see, we've got roughed in for the shower. We're gonna have a double vanity here with a closet and little cubbies on either side for medicine cabinets because it's just gonna be too much to try to get a 60 inch medicine cabinet to go across there. Um, and just a standard bathtub there. Uh, a little nook for the toilet and here we're in the workshop space over here and just kind of show you these are the ones I mounted yesterday and working on wiring them up so ignore my extension cord there but uh, we're wiring them all up so that they will all be switched and 
course, we have the downstairs closet with the special lights that you cannot break. <laughs> so when you have something up on the top shelf, you don't have to worry about hitting the light bulb. And then the HVAC closet, uh, which is pretty standard stuff. Got the sub panel, um, just a little single LED there. So that lights up this area pretty good. My HVAC friends, don't give me too much hell about that Goodman. I had no say in that matter, but it seems to be a decent unit for what it is. So, And of course, here's the auxiliary garage. So this house has two one-car garages, but because of the new trunk line going in here, we couldn't have a roll-up door. So this is actually a barn style, opens outward. So you can't have an opener on it without spinning some cheese, but uh, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> It really doesn't fit a car very well anyway. It's really great for lawnmowers or boats or anything like that. Um, Four-wheelers, that's a big thing in this area. So, and This garage fits quite a bit. It's uh, kind of extra deep. And I made sure that we have plenty of outlets everywhere that you look. There should be an outlet. Um, and quads in some cases, because I just thought, you know, you can never have enough outlets. Those are uh, all GFI protected. And I've been all that conduit, so I got to practice my conduit bending skills. So that's we where we are at at the moment. So thank you guys very much for watching. And hopefully we should be done before too long. Have a great day.